Perfect time it is to do so as the sun sets and the stage goes dark for what's set to be a visual extravaganza. In the next hour or so, you'll be taken on a journey. The Singapore journey, as told by a veteran of our art scene, the creative director, Dick Lee. And he'll have help telling that story with the crowd's LED wristbands, which, as you'll see throughout the show, will come alive in a spectacular sea of colour. My ancestors came from the state of Bihar in northern India. My grandfather is a Dane from Denmark. I'm Singaporean. <laughs> I think I'm a Roja. I'm from Whitland. 1955. I'm from Singapore. That short video shows us how unique we are as Singaporeans. A disparate patchwork of cultures that have been woven into one people over time. And it all started at the Singapore River, which emerged as the centre of our island's trade, commerce and finance. It's what Singapore's migrant forefathers first saw as they sought a new and better life on these shores. About 400 members from the People's Association Performance Group are recreating what lay in wait for our pioneers. They each arrived with their distinct practices, cultures, food even, laying the seeds of Singapore's multicultural melting pot. Many of these pioneers would have been met by the Malay community whose iconic weddings have become mainstays of Singapore culture. Grand affairs featuring a kaleidoscopic array of traditional apparel and music. And here they're carrying Bunga Manga, a site closely tied with Malay weddings. These props of tinsel paper traditionally lead the wedding processions and depict the palm blossoms of coconuts which were used in the old days. They symbolize well wishes for the married couple to have many children. During Chinese New Year, my mother would like the firecrackers. My father would stand behind. In our new pajamas, we will be lighting it, playing with firecrackers, and the floor will be all red. The Chinese were among the first on our shores, bringing with them their colourful New Year festival.
the dancers here, decked in gold and red, traditionally associated with luck and wealth in Chinese culture. They also brought Chinese opera to Singapore, synonymous with the brightly painted faces of its performers. And the Wayang means theatrical performance in Malay. Indian folklore encompasses thousands of years of culture, religion, traditional games and the arts. What strikes me most about the rich Indian folklore is its vibrancy. The Indian community in Singapore was the second largest here in the 1800s and they too imported their unique customs from India. The peacock, for example, is central to Indian mythology and Hinduism. The peacock feather is associated with beauty and knowledge and today is used to attract good luck and prosperity. And here you see movements inspired by the Kathakali, a traditional Indian dance that typically features elaborate costumes and colourful makeup to tell stories from Hindu epics and other folklore. used to make a special dish called fig. It used all the parts of the pig that was not wanted. And it has become my favorite dish because we only ate it at Christmas. Oh, my favorite food is suji cake. Like we eat it at every celebration, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, and even funerals. My Nettles Devil's Curry is the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. It's the most unique thing and no matter how many times I try to make it, it will never taste the same. Well, as the name suggests, Eurasian cultural practices are derived from both European and Asian influences. And this is represented very well in their food. Take for instance Devil's Curry, which was introduced in the video earlier. It's believed it was concocted as a way to not waste Christmas leftovers. So what you then get is a varied meat stew seasoned with Asian spices like curry leaves and lemongrass. And because many of the early Eurasians here had Portuguese Malaccan ancestry, much of their lingua franca, Kristang at the time, had elements of both Portuguese and Malay. Needless to say, they also inherited their dance forms from the Portuguese. shores of the Singapore River. People from all walks of life came together and they bring so much heritage and culture with them. Despite their differences, they managed to find common ground and begin to build a future for themselves and their families. And as they set down roots here, they created a place that we can all call
But we only became Singapore when everyone began marching to the same beat. Singapore's story and by extension society continues to be a work in progress, but our qualities of multiracialism, religious acceptance and diversity aren't replicated in many other countries. These tenets that have resulted in a social combat that is now synonymous with the name Singapore.